Well, a little addition to my previous winter video, I've decided to make a protein skimmer. Um, I don't know how successful it's going to be, but I'm going to, certainly going to have a go. I've got some 4 inch tube and a cap, I'm drilling holes in the top to prevent the um, K1 media going through it. Then I'm going to add an airline some point maybe halfway down it with an air stone on the top I'll fit that cone and what I'm hoping is that the foam the filters are producing escapes through that little tundis there the funnel time will tell so it's an experiment uh, it hasn't cost me much to put together so let's see if it works I'll show you the top of the filter here I have cleaned it yesterday so there's not a great deal in there at the minute But, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can just about see the foam there. And yesterday when I come to clean it, there's quite a lot of foam in there. I mean, considering I've not been feeding the fish, I have put some GH up in it about three weeks ago. I wonder if that's what's, what the foam is. Anyway, I'm going to put a protein skin, skimmer in the biological filter. is that one there and I'll fix it in as an experiment it either works or it won't work if it does work um, I'll show you how to do it so back to what I've got four inch tube a plastic cap PVC cap and a funnel um, I've got an old air stone and some piping and See how it goes. At the minute, I'm simply drilling holes in the top. Okay, I'm going to go down with the larger drill now. The first one is a 3mm drill. This is a 6mm drill. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just clean the holes up.
So anyway, with, um, with this cap here, all that I've done, I've actually put some duct tape on it temporarily. Just put it around there because if it doesn't work, I can pause it and try something else. So that's just temporary. At least if it does work, I can work it with the sealed and duct tape at the moment. So, <coughs> the idea is that I'll go into the water, into this biological filter, like so. The water will travel upwards and about halfway down I'll put a pipe in there with an air stone. We'll have to measure it correctly, okay? And then what I will do is just cost me a pound to three. So, I've cleaned the inside and the outside. Okay, let's put a little taper or well, countersink either side just to clean the swarf, plastic swarf off. Now, so, what I'm going to do again is to reattach it on there. It's getting quite cold now, so it's quite numb. Hands up, so he's not struggling.
Okay. So the next thing I've done is I've attached it there, as you can see. I've, dr I've drilled a six mil hole through the side and past the air line with this air stone down there. I don't know if you can see it. So there you go. There's the air stone. The air stone floats at say approximately two inches just above the base. So where the biological filter inlet is, that faces that direction there. So the incoming water will, the idea is the incoming water will go straight away up there, it'll be aerated, and hopefully at the top it'll go out of the funnel and hopefully it can catch some foam. Obviously that water hopefully will circulate so it'll go up there, back out, and out to the outlet and back into the pond. So, that's that next stage. The stage after that is simply over there, that's where the foam hopefully will extract. Um, will it work? I don't know, time will tell. So if it doesn't work, let's back to the drawing board. Okay, so there we have it. That's it. That's sitting directly on top of the inlet pipe to the biological filter. I'm sorry about the quality of the video here. Um, it's a bit awkward angle that I'm videoing at. So there's a funnel taped on the top. The incoming water goes straight inside the patching here. And then the bubbles hopefully will go out through the top of the funnel. Down into the pipe, and I've not looked yet. Let's see if there's any foam coming through. Okay, a better idea again here. Okay. Let's see. if anything's coming through and it is not much absolutely I'll oh. use again I think it's better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm just hoping the height of summer when I'm feeding them. It works so what I'm going to do next is tidy the old contraption up, uh, fit it properly. I'm going to leave that for a couple of hours just to see what happens. But well, I think it actually works. Well, there we are, that's proof of the pudding, it is working. Um, not massive amounts are coming out just yet, really. It's winter. 
and the water is very very cold 2.2 degrees but in principle it works there we go That's it. So the tube and the uh, fractionator is positioned directly over the inlet pipe into the biological filter. The foam, as you can see, There, so you can see it. So it works. So the filter system now comprises vortex, two still beds uh, which contain. K1, a biological filter which again contains K1, a foam fractionator to get rid of all the um, minerals and Lord knows what, and we'll have a bog garden, this is a peasant got gravel and we'll put this um, alpha drug in to get rid of the nitrates. So come midsummer let's hope everything's up and running. Until then I'll see you and have a good time. <laughs>